<laughs> First of all, full disclosure, I'll be doing this acceptance speech from a teleprompter app. See? Oh. <laughs> Forgive me if I apologize for being oh boy, it's freezing on me. <laughs> Some of you may know I have been vocal about my husband, my diagnosis with hepatitis C, and I've been sharing it with the club not for sympathy, but to educate and to increase awareness of a potentially fatal disease that has been stalking many in this profession for far too long. When I think of that, I think of Devin Nicholson, a Canadian wrestler who had signed a lucrative contract with WWE, only to have that contract rescinded after he was tested positive for the HCV virus. And from what Greg Oliver told me, several other wrestlers lost their wrestling licenses after after state athletic conditions found they tested positive for the virus as well. Over time, I also been vocal about the need for everyone in the profession, wrestlers, referees. Can hear you! I'm speaking out. <laughs> Like many West once said, speak up for your suffering. I double wrote. I've been very vocal about just recently Nancy Grace opportunistically and surreptitiously hijacked and misappropriated the publicity concerning the death of the ultimate warrior and turned it into a tirade against the business. $350 to pay a price <coughs> to Sabres Wrestling School. For I wanted the opportunity for the rest of you, even as a jobber, not to be achievement to learn from one of the greatest. But then, that was every much a reality, as it, as it was that Dango graduated from Juilliard dance school with a, with a, with a degree in dance. <laughs> In closing, I'd like to offer a word of advice to all of you. Reach out to the